know what tangible things are at stake in the 121st Brawl of the Wild. The Great Divide Trophy, a potential conference title, and playoff spots. But to the players, the intangible things are just as important. Just the pride, the bragging rights, the emotion on both sides of the divide make this rivalry one of the best in the entire country. But you don't have to take our word for it. This week we asked some of the guys who've suited up in the Brawl of the Wild just what makes this game so important. Dennis Erickson is a college football Hall of Famer. He coached in the NFL on the highest levels of college football, leading the University of Miami to two national championships. He's been around multiple big-time rivalries, but the former Montana State quarterback says they all pale in comparison to the brawl of the wild. Montana, Montana State to me was the best I've ever been involved in, mainly because it's, uh, it's not a Power Five thing. It's not anything like that. It's about two schools in the same state that are in the same conference. His perspective has changed recently. Erickson is still deeply connected to the Bobcat program, but his son Bryce coaches tight ends at Montana, so Saturday's game is win-win. It wasn't for Montana State uh, giving me a scholarship, who knows where the heck I'd be. So th this game's special. I can't lose on it uh, at all, actually. Mark Mariani electrified Grizzly fans for four years as a wide receiver and return man before a Pro Bowl career in the NFL. He's a decade removed from his college days, but the thrill of Cat Grizz still burns just as strong. You know, for a Montana boy, that's it, it's why you go to school there, right? I mean, it's it's a big deal. Uh, it means deeply means a lot to a lot of people, and, and to me, it hits a lot of chords, man. I, it fires me up. It makes me angry. It makes, you know, makes me want to throw a helmet and some pads back on. Mariani has the distinction of never losing to the Cats, and he makes sure everyone knows it. When you see a Grizz or a Cats or whatever, everyone's got to get a little jab in. And I just get, guys, I, I'm sorry. I, I doesn't, I'm just, I, mean, I never lost. I don't have feels. When Junior Adams arrived in Bozeman as a transfer wide receiver from Oregon State, the Bobcats had lost 15 straight games to the Grizzlies, and he quickly learned it wasn't just another game. You know, after they beat us, they run on the field, obviously, and they take their pads off, and they had these T-shirts on. I think the streak was at 15 or 16 at the time, and they and they threw these T-shirts on that had, you know, like 15 on it or 16 on it, and that's when it, you know, after that point again, that's when it resonated with me with how big it really truly was. But Adams left his mark on the rivalry. In 2002, he caught a pass from true freshman quarterback Travis Lule and scored Montana State's only touchdown in a 10-7 win, snapping the streak and starting a new era of competitive games. And to this day, I've been in a lot of games since then. And I'm going to tell you what, there's, it's still hard to compete against that, that Cat Grizz game. I mean, Dave Dickinson is considered the greatest player to ever don the maroon and silver. He grew up a Grizzly fan in Great Falls and felt the pressure of the rivalry when he first arrived on campus. I felt a lot of pressure because being a local Montana guy, and uh, we had had this long streak that had started well before me. And by the time my years were coming along, we were hitting double digits. And I didn't want to be known as a guy that, you know, was a quarterback that the streak ended in. Dickinson won both of his starts in Bozeman, and he's never been back since. My last game there is the last time I've been in that city, and uh, I never really felt they were wanted me back. So you really want to have the term rivalry. You need to have back and forth. And, you know, we obviously had our way for, what, 16, yeah, he said 16, 17 years. And then the Cats had won four in a row, and you want back and forth because that's that's what rivalry means to me. So it's it's back. It was a huge win for the Grizz last year. Cats will be favored, but it, it, it will still be a great game. Tom Wiley, MTN Sports.